What's up everyone, welcome to Ola Learns, the video series where I sit down with a song and try to learn it on guitar. Back in the day during the 90s, uh, there wasn't really, uh, you know, an online guitar tab community, not that big anyways, uh, not like it is today where there's guitar tabs of everything out there available. But back in the day, I, you didn't really have that, so you would either resort to guitar tab books or just, you know, you have to listen to the song and pick out the song yourself. I've always been more of a fan of picking out the song by ear because that trains your ear. So that's a good thing. And when you first start, it might be really hard and feel very difficult, but the more you do it, the easier it will be for you to pick up what's being played if you listen and play together with uh, an actual album. So today I'm gonna do a song that I actually never properly learned, and it's a Pantera song called Becoming. And it's quite weird because it's one of my favorite songs of Pantera, but I just thought it was so f***ing hard to pull that shit out. I just never got it to sound the same as on the album and, you know, I just gave up basically. I just couldn't get it to sound good. And speaking of guitar tabs, back during the 90s, at least these were available. This is uh, Selections from Far Beyond Driven Pantera, Authentic Guitar Tab Edition, but this is the official tab book. It says Authentic Tab Book. I was religiously, you know, learning songs, Pantera songs, looking in this tab book. Well, later I found out that it's not very accurate. It's definitely not how Dimebag played a lot of the stuff in here. If you check the tab for I'm Broken, it says this. I thought that was the way that Dimebag played it. But then you would see Dimebag live and he plays it like this. which just sounds a lot more like the album. <laughs> There's a lot of inaccuracy in this guitar tab book right here, so it's basically shit. But I still have it because, you know, it's, it's a memory of uh, when I was growing up playing guitar. So one of the things about Becoming is that part uh, where it squeals a lot, like Wee! And uh, the way that Dimebag acquired this squeal was that he was using a whammy. He did this for a lot of songs. A Digitech whammy like this one, I think he had the first version, this is probably the fourth version, but it's still doing the job, you know? And I have it set to, oh, I did not have it set to two octaves, but it's supposed to go up two octaves, so, like this. And he would do this a lot with like harmonic squeals and you know, the dime squeal, so. You know, a little double effect. You nail a harmonic here on the fretboard and he raises it up using uh, the, the Digitech Whammy. And the song Becoming is one of the songs where he's using the Digitech Whammy a lot uh, and in the main riff. And I never figured this out. So we're gonna try and figure it out today. I'm gonna listen to the song. I'm using this guitar today. This guitar is tuned to standard D, but tuned to 425 hertz. So just like on the album. So let's listen to the song. Okay, the tab wants us to play this. Which is not right, it starts at the 6th fret, not the 5th fret. And then the tab wants to play the main riff like this. Sounds pretty similar, and it says here in Guitar Figure 2 that I'm supposed to play this. And it's definitely not very accurate, so we're gonna listen and find out exactly how to play it. Wee! You can hear that E! That's the whammy right there. I have to check a video for this. Thank God for videos, man. This is not easy. Can I see how Dimebag is playing it? Well, as you can see here, it's definitely not playing up here. Wait, no, not the audience. Film Dimebag. This is good. I see him playing this part right here. He's playing here.
I think that's it. Oh. Okay. He does that little slide. I think we had a screeching part right. So it's on the fifth fret of the G string, and then you go full on on the whammy. So. Is it the octave? I think that's it. Okay, I think it's from two, uh, the second fret to the fourth fret. Or can we slow it down? I want to hear it properly. Is it really the second fret or the third fret? But that, there it sounded like it was on the third fret. So it sounds like he's mixing a little bit, uh, going from the second fret to the fourth fret, and also the third fret to the fourth fret. It's hard to hear with the muting, but. Oh. Yeah, man. I mean, it sounds correct either way, almost. All right, next part. Okay, let's go back. What is he playing? He's doing a slide or something. He's working around this part anyway, so... Okay. I think that's it. Thank God for videos, man. <laughs> Damn, it sounds like first fret. It sounds almost like he's doing... The thing is, I think that he might be pushing the strings a little harder when he plays that, so it sounds almost like it's going first fret. If you push harder on the strings, they're gonna go sharp. So maybe that's a little bit of effect right there. Okay. There you hear that. You hear clearly there that it's the second fret. Okay, let's do the chorus. Oh shit, okay. Okay. I want to see how he plays this. Oh my god, listen to the song, man. That sounds so fucking badass for being a live show, man. Okay. Okay, so it's settled. He plays two for you. Okay, it's settled. I see that there's a lot of covers out there, but I want to see, you know... I want to see the real deal. I want to see Dimebag play it, man. He's playing it up here. That makes a lot of sense, because here, it's not as fat sounding as over here. Listen to that, you get a lot more extra bass higher up on the fret. I think we have all the parts then. It's just a solo. 
And this solo is a little bit weird. It's... I mean, it's basically just whammy and a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, dime squeals. Look at this. So it's definitely, like, what he's playing right here is definitely not what he sounds like on the album. Uh, but, I mean, that's Dimebag for you right there. He was switching it up all the time. <laughs> I mean, it's just a lot of feel. I think it's going to be really hard to tab out or, you know, replicate the solo to perfection. But we're going to give it a shot. I'm going to go through the different parts now, just play them really quick. At a slower pace. Okay, I have to wing the solo, man. Okay, let's try to play it all again. Without the click, maybe. Sorry. Solo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> got this. There you go, man. The solo part, obviously, I winged it a little bit. <laughs> I just did a little whammy and tried to replicate the notes, but... Uh, I don't know, I think I got it worked down. It's a little tricky, man. The tricky part is getting the... This part. The whammy part just sound gnarly as fuck. If you just pick the notes... It just sounds weird, but if you pick them hard... You get a little extra... Eh, you know? There you go. So you need to fucking get that part right. There's a big difference between this and this. It's definitely not easy getting the perfect every time. Yeah. 
it just sounds like a meow if you do it wrong. Now I want to check out some covers. Obviously, fucking Attila has one. Okay, so apparently you would have saved a lot of time if you didn't watch this video I made and just go watch Attila's video instead because Attila is an amazing guitar player and he has the dime bag stuff down to, you know, he's got it down, okay? Okay, so Attila also did a solo on this. So if you really want to nail the solo perfectly, you should go check out uh, Tellus video right here. I'm, I'm definitely going to link it in the description of this video. I mean, this process would have been a lot quicker if I just had this video to begin with. So if you want to learn the small quirks of what Dimebag was doing, I definitely recommend checking out this video because, you know, Tellus going into the fucking details, you know, with the... about moving the right hand as well while doing the pinch harmonic and stuff like that. So, I mean, after this, you, if you want to, you know, dig down deeper into becoming Check out this video. And that, my friends, was Ola Learns right there. Holy shit, I finally know this song. That makes me happy. Now I can play that riff. This video will most likely or probably be demonetized and maybe even blocked by Warner Bros. Uh, just for using the Pantera song, Becoming. Uh, if you could and want to help out, you can always share the video and, you know, make... You know, share the video, share the knowledge, basically. Or you can support by buying something from my web store, OlaEnglishShop.com. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been an absolute pleasure. Goodbye.